What's up, you guys? Ed from Teach Source. Welcome to Setup Wars, episode 202, Teen Edition. Now, before we get into the video, I have an awesome announcement to make. I've actually partnered with LG, who is sponsoring this video, to give away a brand new 86 inch nano cell 4K TV to one lucky subscriber. So we're doing another contest very similar to the ultra wide edition if you guys remember like years back on setup wars where the winners would take home an ultra wide monitor but instead of an ultra wide monitor we're giving away an 86 inch 4k tv i got this hooked up in my living room and let me tell you this is a thing of beauty not only is it amazing to watch movies on this massive 86 inch screen but it's even more fun to game on because this tv actually supports amd's FreeSync, so it synchronizes the refresh rate on the tv and the console to reduce tearing and stuff Stuttering. On top of that, you get two times lower input lag compared to other 4K TVs, which means the games you play on there will feel more responsive. You combine that with the amazing pure colors from the nanotechnology and you have yourself the ultimate entertainment experience. Imagine this in your setup or gaming den, because it could be yours. So we're basically looking for a gaming den or an entertainment room setup, specifically where the 86 inch TV would be a nice fit. Now obviously it's not required for you to have a TV, but it is required for you to tell us what you plan on doing with the TV if you were to win. Basically in the notes, let me know what you guys plan on doing with the TV and where exactly you would put it in your setup. Uh, submitting your photos is pretty much the same as participating for a regular setup or so watch the video link below if you guys want to know how to enter but you do have until july 6th to send in your pictures the winner will get chosen by you guys on episode 206. Uh, more details will be linked down below but with that said ladies and gentlemen let the setup wars begin By the way, congratulations to Waza for having the worst setup from episode 200 with almost 50% of the votes. This means you have just won $200 in cash, but more importantly, you have won this beautiful trophy, which can be custom engraved and also signed by yours truly, Teach Source. So don't be ashamed to email setupwars at gmail.com to claim your amazing prizes. On with the show. Kicking off the episode is Hayden from the UK and his super simple and clean setup that he uses for gaming, editing, and the occasional streaming. We have a 27 inch Philips gaming monitor sitting on top of a wooden countertop with two Alex drawers as support. He's rocking the Corsair Strafe MK2 keyboard and a SteelSeries Rival 600 mouse with a budget mouse bungee. I find it odd that this setup doesn't have any external audio sources. Hayden doesn't use any headphones or speakers, so he relies on the monitors for audio output. That's interesting considering he does have a microphone set up as well, which will pick up all of the audio from the speakers. Other than a smartphone stand, the only other thing on his desk is the PC, which is a custom built, featuring the i7 8700K and an RTX 2070 inside the NZXT H510 Elite Hotbox. Cables are managed pretty good with a few raceways, cable clips, and a cable box to hide the power strip. No complaints here. The only minor concern I have is that your setup is pretty close to a radiator heater, which can be pretty uncomfortable to sit next to if it's on. So I'm actually kind of curious how you deal with that in the winter. But overall, the setup is looking really clean and I'm digging the whole New York, London wallpaper vibe you have everywhere in your room. But I have just one question. What kind of pillow is that on your bed? Is that just for decoration or is it one of those cuddle pillows where you can just hug it and go to sleep because I actually haven't seen that anywhere. Thank you Hayden for entering. Speaking of New York, up next is Lucas who is an active member on my Discord and as you guys know, being an active member allows you to skip the long queue on setup wars and jump straight to the top. So this is the setup he uses for pretty much everything, from gaming to graphic design, schoolwork, and media consumption. We got dual 25-inch monitors from BenQ mounted on the IKEA Carbly countertop that's also being supported by a couple of Alex drawers in gray. For peripherals, Lucas is rocking the Razer Mamba wireless mouse with a custom DZ60 keyboard that has Gateron Browns and custom Ducky chocolate keycaps with a custom coiled cable from Space Cables. That's a pretty delicious combo if you ask me. For audio, Lucas is using the Teotronic soundbar mostly for watching videos and a pair of wireless headphones from HyperX that he uses for gaming. However, he does have a mic set up as well with a really good boom arm placement off to the side of the desk, which allows him to route the cables straight to the back of the PC. Nice. 
There isn't a lot of unnecessary things on the desk either. I do like how he personalized the setup while keeping everything balanced. Although I would probably stack both of those coasters or toss them in the drawer if you're not using them. So this is interesting. For cable management, Lucas mounted a cable box on the bottom of the desk to hide the power strip and the wires with a single raceway covering the power strip cable. An interesting approach, but hey, it works. And finally, powering the setup is a dope white and black Stormtrooper build equipped with the i7-9700KF and the ASUS RTX 2070 Super. A very nice build. The color scheme is kind of all over the place, but overall it's a solid setup. Thank you, Lucas, for entering. And number three is another Discord member named Mats from Norway. It actually took him a few years to save up enough money to build this setup. However, some of the gear actually belonged to his brother who moved out, like the desk and one of the monitors. The rest of the gear he has saved up for and built this extremely clean triple monitor setup for gaming, watching YouTube, and schoolwork. So he's rocking triple monitors that are mounted to the desk and for peripherals he got the Exable GKX keyboard and a Logitech wireless mouse. I just love how Matt's kept everything symmetrical. He put two of the same monitors on the outer edge with the perfect spacing for both of the speakers and a blue snowball ice mounted right in the center. He also added a few plants and a desk lamp on the left side to offset the PC on the other side. So this was originally a pre-built that belonged to his brother, but since he moved out, it got passed down to him, which he then swapped out the case and replaced a few parts in it, like the cooler, power supply, and the cables. Matt's also games on a console. He has the PS4 Slim tucked away next to his PC. Cables are managed really good. It looks like he installed a massive raceway underneath the desk to hide all the cables, and he did paint that in white to match the color scheme of his setup, and even the PC cables are wrapped up in a sleeve. Well done. The only minor critique I have is that I feel like the wall shelves don't really contribute anything to this setup. You know, it's holding up a few packaging boxes and the car model collection, which isn't even visible since the shelf is too high up there. I feel like he added the wall shelves up there just to have something on the wall. Personally, I would have gone with some paintings or even a mural, but overall it's a really great setup that you put together and there's always room for improvement. Thank you, Mats, for entering. Coming in at number 4 is Ryan, a freelance app developer from Australia and the setup he uses for gaming, schoolwork and app development. So the desk was custom made by the way, and right underneath those nanoleaf panels we got triple 144Hz gaming monitors mounted against the wall. Right below that we got the Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard with white keycaps and a custom cable paired with the glorious Model O, also with a custom cable from Oz Mod Shop. A very nice combo indeed. I'm actually impressed he's able to keep that giant white mouse pad so clean. For audio, he's only using a wireless gaming headset and a Blue Yeti microphone in white to stay consistent to the setup's theme. I also like that he used a channel raceway to hide the cables from the monitors going down and another raceway going across the back of his desk, which all lead to a power strip he mounted on the side of the cable rack underneath the desk. Although, I wonder why he decided to put the PC on the floor, considering there is plenty of space on the desk next to him. He would just have to put the microphone and the PS4 controller somewhere else, and cable management would be easier as well since he can run the cables straight towards the back of the monitors. I don't know what type of app development you are into at the age of 14, but definitely keep it up. You, sir, are going places. Thank you, Ryan, for entering, and good luck with everything. Wrapping up the episode is Willem from Missouri and his insane secret man cave. Why is it secret you might ask? Well, let me guide you through the process of getting inside. So here we have an ordinary room with a poker table in the center. It might be a poker table, I don't exactly know, but at first glance everything might seem normal to you, right? But there is something oddly peculiar about that bookshelf over there. It feels a bit out of place. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hmm, I see a collection of Harry Potter books, but what's this? The purple one isn't a part of the Harry Potter collection, nor does it have any text on it. I wonder. Well, would you look at that? Pulling on the book opens the secret door and grants you access to Willem's secret lair. Behold, the ultimate gamer's paradise, packed with four complete setups and an entertainment area. Holy hell, this is insane. So this entire project took a total of four months to create and it was done by Willem and his dad. This room used to be a closet with concrete floor and they tore everything out and built a gaming den. They wanted to build a place where Willem, his brother and his dad can all hang out and play games. That is a pretty cool dad if you ask me. So starting off with the corner of the room we have station number one which is Willem's brother's setup. 
He's rocking dual 27 inch Dell monitors with a Corsair K95 Platinum RGB keyboard and a Razer Mamba mouse with an Orb Weaver keypad over on the left side. For audio, they did stick with only gaming headsets across all the setups because I'm sure you can imagine using speakers across four different setups in the same room can cause quite the chaos. Willem's brother is rocking a custom PC packing the Ryzen 5 3600 and the EVGA RTX 2080 Super inside the Lian Li Dynamic 011 case and it looks like they ran the PC wires through the wall. On the opposite corner is station number two which belongs to Willem, the man himself. And it looks like he's also running dual displays, however both of them have a slightly higher refresh rate than his brothers. He's also using a different keyboard and mouse combo. We got the Huntsman Elite with Mercury White Razer keycaps and the new popular Razer Viper Wireless Gaming Mouse. Willem's setup appears to be more of a complete setup. There's definitely more personalization here from the wall art to the collectibles and even this entire rack of mice being displayed just for aesthetics. For audio, Willem is using the Razer Nari headset that's hanging underneath the desk. However, for mic input, he's using the Blue Yeti microphone. So the PC powering the setup actually has the best specs in the entire room. With a 9900K that's overclocked to 4.9 GHz and the EVGA RTX 2080 Super XC Ultra graphics card. Station number one and two might be dope and all, but I gotta say, your dad's station is the best, which is also the center setup of the room. He's rocking that sweet 49 inch Super Ultra wide that always gets me weak in the knees and that wallpaper. Damn, it just ties everything together. I mean, I'm a boomer just like your dad, so maybe that's why we like the same things. So Big Daddy's rocking the Apex Pro keyboard with the Razer Mamba wireless mouse, and we got that Mobius gaming headset hanging underneath the desk. And I'm just noticing this now, but this is apparently the only setup in the room that has speakers as well. So right above that massive ultrawide is the custom PC, which oddly enough actually has a better graphics card than Willem's, but with a less powerful CPU for some reason. Big Daddy, if you're watching this video, I would steal Willem's processor and put it in your PC. It's only fitting that an RTX 2080 Ti is paired with the 9900K, just saying. And of course, we can't forget about the guests, right? After all, they need a PC to play on as well. The fourth and final station all the way in the corner of the room has a single 1440p ultrawide monitor with a Black Widow Chroma keyboard and the Razer Mamba Elite gaming mouse. This station gets all the hand-me-downs from the other stations that get upgraded, by the way. It's also running an i5-7500 and a GTX 1080. Not bad for a guest PC. How come I never had a friend like Willem growing up? So those are all of the four main setups. Right behind the fourth station is the couch gaming area, or as I like to call it, the lobby. Sometimes Willem will invite four of his other friends and they will just use up all five stations to play Rainbow Six Siege or League of Legends, which is pretty cool. The TV setup is actually being powered by an HTPC, which has a Ryzen 5 3600 and an RX 570. It's more of a couch gaming setup with the Corsair K63 wireless keyboard and the Iron Claw mouse. Right behind the couch is this wall of Nanoleaf canvas panels, which are actually synced with the rest of the lighting in the entire room, so they can control the lighting using just one remote, which is pretty convenient. And of course, we gotta look at cable management. How did Willem and his dad manage all of these wires? Well, for the PCs, they ran the cables through and down the wall and out the back of the desk. They also built a custom backboard under the desk that goes across all of the setups, and all the cables meet in the middle at Daddy's setup, where it's all plugged in and outlet. Excellent job. The creativity and dedication that went into this amazing gaming den is just beyond words that I can express. There is really no reason that I can see not to award Willem and his family the 28th seal of approval. Congratulations, phenomenal work. If you guys are watching this video, toss an email to setupwars at gmail.com to claim your one of a kind plaque. And with that wraps up this episode of Setup Wars. As always, you guys can vote in the comment section down below and let me know which setup was your favorite. As always, if you guys enjoyed the show, make sure to smack the crap out of that like button to show your support. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.